You know, I've just realized that if I'm editing out random battles, then 11 minutes is going to make these very short videos. But, equally, I don't want it to keep splitting into several videos for each one. So anyways, hey guys, it's Gulk3, and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Golden Sun. In the last part, I really, really am not a big fan of... Craden, if I remember his name. Because he keeps not letting me get treasure. And in this part, let's see what's here. Ooh, it's a moon. As much as it was before. Uh, so are we going to have to synergy you guys, or just push you normally? Yeah, there we go. I know how puzzles work. Ooh, so shining there. Oh my goodness. What, what's happening? This isn't my voice at all. David must have found something. I keep forgetting my voice. Uh-oh. I'm lightninging. David, stop! You're about to make a big mistake! Uh-oh. Wait, David! How did the statue move back? What's wrong, Craden? Uh-oh. Boing. <laughs> this is the most interesting mechanism you've found, David. But stop it immediately. But this is clearly some kind of trap. <gasps> this is a trap? Go look in the lunar room and you'll understand. Alright. If you say so. But I'm a little scared. You've done well. Finding this means you're looking in the right place. But if you just move one statue, you'll be caught in the Sanctum's trap. But why would anyone put a trap here anyway? To stop people trying to steal crap? I don't know who did it, but they've hidden something very important. A what? Perhaps they've hidden the key to alchemy itself. Should I tell you more? Yeah, go on then. Honestly, I doubt you could understand it if I explained now. So I won't. Ugh, what the fuck? We must try to find a solution to this mystery. Another mystery? I'll keep checking the lunar room. You continue exploring the sanctum. My intuition tells me that light must be the key to the secret. We should test it. Which light? What? Huh? I'm... David, let's see if we can't figure this out ourselves. I'm still not sure what I did wrong. Um... Okay. Uh... So, what happens if I move this around like that? Does crap explode? Not so far. Boing. Okay. Then if we move down here... Can we jump across that space? No, of course not. Uh-huh. So, if we move this statue around like that... Ah! We've created a hole. That's a lot of fun. Uh, can we jump down the hole? Or can we synergy the statue over there? Oh, there we go! Doom! Ha! Ah, we made him fall. It may not have been a good idea. Something clicked! Oh boy! Um, so, that's happened now. We move this. Then is it going to be a trap again? Apparently so. What's happening? <laughs> this didn't happen before. Oh wait, it totally did. My bad. David must have found something. All right, but you you found it. Graydon. Ah, so we're swapping them round, are we? Excellent work, David. Where did that hole come from? We kind of created it. When David moved those statues, two beams of light shot out from them. And then this hole appeared in the floor. And David dropped the statue into it after that. Mm. Good work, everyone. <laughs> Good news, everyone. So the statue puzzle was the trap. Hmm? And that other statue was here to disarm the trap. And now that you've disarmed it, we should be all right to go in and steal all the treasury. I, I mean, um, it learn for scientific reasons. Yes, I'll observe from the lunar room where it's safe. You had all the rest. You are a horrible old man, Craden. Just leaving kids and to go into danger and crap. I mean, to be fair, they're like seventeen, but still, you're just a selfish old bastard, aren't you? 
Okay, so hopefully now, if we just move these statues in and around and up and down and everything, we should be nice and happy. Okay, your turn, Angel Face. And we're done, I think, just about. So now the Sol is here, and over on the left is Luna. Yeah, I know how this thing is working, kind of. Uh, so if we go downstairs, what does that mean for everyone then? Dun dun dun! Look, David, the picture of Luna changed to Sol! Why, yes, it did. But other than that, nothing looks different. Oh, no! That's strange. They went to the trouble of putting a trap here. This is all that happens? Maybe something's happened outside? Somewhere, something else must have changed. We must find it! Is it going to be nighttime outside now? I think it could be. Oh, there's a beam of light! Look, there's someone on the floor! It changed from Sol to Luna! I wasn't expecting this at all! Surely there must be something in this room. Like this giant beam of light. You know, just maybe. Whoa! That was, that's something cool. Aha! This has to be it! You don't say. Let's go, David! Let us go indeed, Craden. But this could <laughs> just... Oh, sure, let David go first when you don't know if it'll kill him or not. Wait for me, David! I'm on my way! Loading the nether. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa! This is a stylish looking place. Ooh, it's pretty! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> we weren't expecting this at all! Yes! No! Yes! What? Hmm. Where are we? I don't know, Creighton. I just don't know. The other one is meant to have read all the books about this place. Oh, I say. This place is rather pretty. Is that the ocean? I don't know. It doesn't look much like an ocean to me, but it could be. My word. No, it couldn't be. The ocean has waves. Whereas this has nothing! The ocean? What's that? <laughs> What's a water? The ocean is a thing of endless water at the end of the world. Uh -huh. You would not understand. Someday I'll show it to you myself. How do you guys not know about the ocean? Seriously. I've done two Let's Plays about it now. Not including Monkey Island. The elemental of stars. They really exist! The elemental stars exist! Do they? He taught us about those. Elements are the foundation of all matter. Stones, wood, even us. All things are made from those four elements. Did I get it right, David? I don't fucking know, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And of course we all knew this, so there was no point in us reiterating the point unless there was some other fifth being watching us. But that's ridiculous. As I have told you many times, the elements are the source of all matter. Earth, water, fire, and wind. These are the four elements. Legends hold that the four elemental stars contain the purified essence of each element. <gasps> and now those legendary stones are before us! Dun dun dun! The Venus Star, the elemental stone of Earth. Venus is a planet, not a star. Mercury star, possessing the power of water's many forms. Mm hmm. There is the Mars star, glowing red with the fire contained within. Okay. So the last one. Jupiter star, bound with the wind's fury. What does Jupiter have to do with wind? I love it all so. Graydon, why are you getting so excited? This just happens to be my fetish. How can you be so calm in the face of such wonders? You're looking at the very source of all alchemy. What? Haven't I told you all this before? Nope. Then this must be a lot for you to take in, you moron. The Wisdom Stone. The Stone of Sages. <gasps> this stone dominates everything. It can transmute crude matter into gold. Even thwart death it... death. You know, if you can't hear anything anymore, it thwarts that. No, even thwart death itself. That gives me an idea. You understand now, don't you? Yes, because I don't want you to explain it. Do you want me to repeat that? No, don't say that. Ah, 
Damn it, Kipora. A study of alchemy began with a search for this very stone. I don't really get how it works, but they have enormous power, right? Beyond enormous. With a single gem, one could conquer the world! Somebody get Pinky and the Brain in here. Now perhaps you begin to understand. I'm angry about this knowledge. I don't like learning things. Don't scare us like that, Craden. I totally thought you were serious. <laughs> Conquering the world. You silly old man. Who can say what the truth is? Lawyers. Phoenix Ray. He knows a lot. That's why I've been searching for the elemental stars. I seek to learn the truth about these stones. Boing. Now they lie before me. You're going to be thwarted by your greed. Whoa! Oh my. I almost just thought I... I almost forgot I was about 800 years old right there. Be careful, Creighton. You look slippery. But I must examine the elemental stars. I wanna... Make the boys do it. Hey! That's not nice. Well, I guess it's better than an old man trying to do it. Oh, I couldn't ask. Would you mind? He'd be glad to get the stones for you, right, David? Right. Y yeah, sure, Jenna. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to give you a hug. You'll need this, David. Oh, will I now? You brought those from your cottage, right, Creighton? That's right, it's my alcohol. Huh? What are those bags? They're made of woven threads of mithril. Mithril? I prepared them for just such an occasion. You know, just in case I happen to find some legendary thing of ultimate power, I thought I'd make some nice little baggies to put them in. Now, go fetch the elemental stars and put them in those bags. Hooray! We got four mithril bags. That's nifty. Uh, anyways, we have now been recording for about 12 minutes, and so, in the next part, guys, we're going to go collect us some elemental stars. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.